Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss Hannah. Welcome to another children's ministry story time. And today we're going to be reading a book called The One O'Clock Miracle, a true story about trusting the words of Jesus. This was written by Allison Mitchell and illustrated by Catalina Eschaberry. So let's begin. Long, long ago, there lived an important man who worked for the king. He was sad and so, so worried his son was very ill, so ill that he was going to die, and no one could help him. He heard that a man named Jesus was doing amazing, wonderful things. He heard that Jesus was making ill people well again. He heard that Jesus was doing things only God could do. So the man decided to ask Jesus for help. The man and his son lived in Capernaum by the sea, but Jesus was staying in Cana, more than 20 miles away. It was a very long walk and uphill all the way, but the man had decided that he must see Jesus. So he said goodbye to his son and his family, and he set off to see Jesus. Up the hill. He walked and walked and sometimes ran because he so badly wanted to see Jesus. The sun went down, the night was dark and the stars were bright, but the man didn't stop. Huffing and puffing, he walked and walked and sometimes ran, hurrying to see Jesus. The sun came up, the morning arrived, there was still a long, long way to go. Look at him run. Puffing and panting, the man walked and walked and sometimes ran because he needed to see Jesus. At last, at one o'clock in the afternoon, the man reached Cana, the town where Jesus was. He had walked and walked and sometimes run and now, at last, he could see Jesus. Please, sir, he said, my son is dying. Please come with me. Please make him better. The man knew that if Jesus came with him and touched his son, the boy would be well again. But Jesus just said, go. What? Go home without Jesus? After all that walking and even running to get Jesus to come? But Jesus hadn't finished yet. Go, Jesus said, and then he added, your son will live. The man believed him. Jesus wasn't going to come to the man's home. He wasn't going to touch the boy to make him well, but the man still trusted that what Jesus said was true. And off he goes back home again. Down the hill, he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he believed Jesus. The sun went down, the night was dark, and the moon shone brightly. The man felt so, so tired. But on and on, he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he trusted Jesus. All the time that he's walking, he's hearing the words that Jesus said to him, Your son will live! The sun came up, a new morning arrived, and still he walked and he walked. Though his back ached and his legs were very tired. Look, his back's going crack. On he walked and walked and sometimes ran because he was sure that Jesus would make his son well. See, he's thinking again of the words that Jesus said, your son will live. Then, far away in the distance, he saw some men. They came closer and closer. They were his own servants. They must have news, he thought, but what would it be? Sir, they said, it's your son. Uh-oh. What do you think's gonna happen? He is alive! He is well again! 
The man was bursting for joy. When? the man asked. When did he get better? Yesterday, at one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock? One o'clock, the man replied. Then the man remembered. It was one o'clock when he saw Jesus. It was one o'clock when Jesus said his son would live. And it was one o'clock when his son got better. Wow, look at that. Jesus didn't need to go and see the boy. He didn't need to walk and walk, and he didn't have to run. Jesus simply spoke. And just like that, the boy was better. Wow, only Jesus could do that. And do you know why? Because Jesus is God's son. Happy and smiling, the man walked home, and sometimes he ran to see his son again. Then he told his son and his family about Jesus and how Jesus could do things that only God could do. And they all believed in Jesus, God's son too. He's still thinking of the words of Jesus, your son will live. And now that the man's son was well, what could he do? What do you think he could do now that he was well? He could smile and he could laugh and he could walk and he could run all because of Jesus. Wow, isn't that amazing? Jesus can help us. And if we just believe in his words and trust in him, it's amazing what he could do. This story is from John 4 verses 46 to 54. If you guys want to read it on your own at home. So thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.